This is Ian Bailey with Ian on Torah. Today we're speaking about the Parsha Tzav, the Parsha of the Week. This week's Torah portion goes over a lot of the offerings they spoke about last week, uh, you know, sacrifices in the Temple, and it gives more details about these offerings. It really got me thinking. Today, this week we're doing a drash. We're not going through sentences, just a, just an important idea. Uh, you know, it's it's really important to be able to, to go over the same information, to review. We're so used to a 24-hour news cycle. I would even argue a 12-hour news cycle. We have so much new information. How many people do you know, or have, how many times have you, have you gone over the same book twice? Have you read the same book twice? But but what's really important is that, you know, the Parsha, it goes over the same information again, elaborates on it some more. We have a, a an urge to not sit and concentrate and review, especially in our digital age. Technology is incredible, and it's useful. But it urges us to always go for new articles, new blogs, what's new on the Facebook post, news feed. And it's also important to go over the same thing. We read the, we read the Torah every year um, in a cycle. New, new things come all the time. The Gemara says in Brachos, Im Shema Tishma. It uh, darshans, it expounds a uh, famous uh, uh, a phrase that appears a couple times in the Torah. If you listen, you will listen. If you hear, you will hear. And it says, if you listen to old things, you will hear new things. Ooh. If you review, if you go over things, um, you'll get new information and new ideas. So we should all really, you know, find it within ourselves to have self-restraint and to take what's old and find the new. Uh, and, and a second level, I mean, if you go through things, and then sacrifices, it seems strange, it's foreign. But if you go through commentaries, they come out with many inspirational and spiritual messages, interpretations. Um, you know, we talked about psychological explanation last week for these offer, offerings and blood and animals, you know, uh, to combat the occult, to combat the imaginative thinking. So taking things that we don't always feel comfortable with and studying them, taking all the information and studying them is crucial. And that's a lesson of Tzav, an important drash.